good morning again we continue with our topic about uh, the mind is in the uh, is in the battlefield the battlefield of the mind as we talked about yesterday in the book of Ephesians chapter 6 verse 12 I still come to you as John Mutai elder John Mutai from the uh, Lord's Church Kayole and uh, under Bishop uh, Robert Thimba. Thank God for that, uh, for the, 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 the word that we are also going to read as we continue. So we were talking about the, um, the, the, the book of Visions, about the, put all the, the full armor of God. And the Bible says also in 2 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 4 and 5, that the weapons we fight with are not the weapons of the world. On the contrary, they have the fine power to demolish strongholds. We demolish arguments and every pretension that sets itself up against the knowledge of God. And we take captive every thought to make it obedient to Christ. So our weapons, the weapons we fight with are not uh, weapons of the world. They are not uh, carnal. They are not uh, physical weapons. But they, are, uh, they have the fine power to demolish the strongholds. Because we are fighting the battle of the mind. We are fighting on things which uh, they are unseen. But it, has, it, is, it, it is in the mind. We have to overcome it. So in verse 5 it shows clearly that the location of the battle on which this warfare is, is, is waged is actually in the mind. You see, you see it's in verse 5 it says, We demolish arguments and every pretensions that set itself up against the knowledge of God and we take captive every thought to make it obedient to Christ. Thought. It's actually the, 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 in the mind. We, we are talking about that. So we, we are to take the, these weapons and refute every argument of the devil. The devil will always argue with us and offer us theories and, and reasonings. All these activities goes on in the mind. The mind is the battlefield. So, the, so thus far, we have seen that we are engaged in a warfare. And another thing was that one, yeah, we have got one enemy, which is Satan. And the mind is the, fat, is, the, is, the, is the battlefield. So the devil works diligently to set up strongholds in our mind. And also what we have learned is that the, uh, he does it through strategy and deceit through well-laid plans and deliberate deception. He is in no hurry. He takes his time to work out his plans. So the weapons we have to use is actually first the weapon of the word of God. As in the book of uh, John chapter 8, verse number 31, John chapter 8, verse number 31, the Bible says, um, so um, the Bible says that the title of this uh, subject is that the truth will set you free. Jesus said to those who believe in him, if you obey my teaching, you are really my disciples. You will know the truth and the truth will set you free. We are the descendants of Abraham. Uh, um, uh, the truth will set you free. That is that of that, uh, that the eight verse at one and that it, and first number that two. So the truth is in the word of God. Jesus is telling tells us how we are to win the victory over the lies of Satan. We must set the knowledge of God's word, truth, in us. We must uh, put on the word of God. We must consume the word of God so that we be able to overcome. We can be able to uh, quote the word of God to overcome these challenges. Um, for us to overcome the devil. Review, renew our minds with his word. Then use the weapons uh, which we have said in Second Corinthians chapter four, verse five, uh, uh, and four and five, we see up to their town strongholds and every high and lofty thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God. These weapons are, are in the word received through. We, we receive the word even through the preaching, through the uh, books we read, the tapes, uh, prof, uh, private Bible study. We must abide in the word until it becomes a revelation given by inspiration of the Holy Spirit. As the more we read the word of God, 
it brings meaning and it brings an understanding that we'll be able to use the word of God to, uh, to fight, to, to uh, overcome the, 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 the works of the devil. The, the Lord is giving us the strength through this word. We are able to overcome. As the other spiritual weapons are praise and prayer, praise and worship. The more we pray, and the more we praise the Lord, and as we praise the Lord, the devil will be far away from us. As we pray, the devil will not set, will not have power over us. Praise defeats the devil, the, 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 the devil. As we praise the Lord, we are able to overcome. Do you see, like uh, Jehoshaphat when he set up a, 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 an, a, an army. He was being uh, fought by the, the, the children of Mount Seir and uh, Moab. And he set up an, an, a praise and worship team, a praise team to go ahead of the, of the army. And when they started praising the Lord, and they started praising the Lord, the armies of uh, Mount Seir and Moab were confused. And they started fighting themselves. Instead of coming to fight the, the, the children of Judah, they started fighting themselves. And then when they had finished fighting themselves, one, two armies, fighting, fighting, they started fighting the other until they finished themselves. So power, there is power in praise. As we praise the Lord, there is power. So both praise and, and prayer involves the word of God. We praise God according to his word and his goodness. We have to praise God because we, we, we are basing our praises on the word of God. Our prayer is, uh, is a relationship with the Godhead. And it is coming, um, asking for help and, uh, and talking to God about something that bothers us. That is prayer. We talk to God and ask him to help us as what the things which are bothering us. To have an effective prayer life, then we must believe, develop a good personal relationship with the Father. We have to develop a good personal relationship with, the, with our God. We get an assurance that God has, has, loves us and is full of mercy that will help us. So we need to get to know Christ Jesus fully with, uh, without any doubt. Because the more we know Christ, because uh, the more we read the word of God, we are able to know more things. You see, faith comes by hearing and it's by hearing the word of God. So the more we read the word of God, the more we internalize in the word of God, we get more power because the Lord is keeping us and strengthening us in Jesus' name. So we have to have a good relationship with the Holy Spirit also. He's always a present help at, at all time. We let the Holy Spirit of God take over and, and lead us because we know that when the Spirit of God is in control, we can overcome every challenge. We have to fill our prayers with the Word of God. As we pray, we are praying using the Word of God. God's Word and our, our needs is uh, the basis on which we come to Him. Our weapons are not carnal. They are spiritual. We need spiritual weapons because we are fighting um, and spirits, even the devil himself. So even Jesus himself used the weapon of the world in the wilderness to defeat the devil. In the, in Luke chapter 4, verse 1 to 13. Each time the devil leads uh, light to him, Jesus responded with, the, uh, it is written. You have to use the, the, uh, I mean the, the word of God. It is written and quoted uh, him the word of God. You see, Christ himself was able to quote the word of God even when he was in the wilderness and he was able to overcome so we, we always have to read the word of god because the word of god encourages us and gives us hope and uh, and we, we can overcome every challenge because the lord is with us let's believe the lord let's trust in his in his word and we shall overcome the bible says in first Corinthians chapter 10 verse 13 that no temptation has seized you except that what is common to man and god is faithful he will not let you to be tempted beyond what you can bear but when you are tempted he will also provide a way out so that you can stand up and uh, under it so Nothing will come which you can be overcome, which you can overcome you, but you are able to overcome because of the word of God. So as by this scripture, uh, that, that the Lord does not allow us to be tempted beyond what we can bear, but we, it, with every temptation, He will also provide the way out. That is actually the escape. God is on our side. He is fighting on our side. He, if God is for us, then who can be 
against us. We can overcome every challenge. Let's fight these things and let's fight the petals which are in my minds and we overcome and we move on trusting the Lord because our faithful God in Jesus' name. Let's move and pray. Father, we thank you because you are faithful and you are able to receive all honor and all the glory because of your word. Mighty Father, we just want to trust you that Jehovah this morning you are going to do a new thing, even a bless you and my viewers in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father, because you are faithful. Receive one and praise in Jesus' name we pray. Amen.